Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. We are here at Epcot for our first ever visit to the International Flower and Garden Festival. The festival has been going on for a few months now, and today of all days is our first actual visit. Today's visit to Walt Disney World is very special because I am testing out my brand new camera, the Sony a7C with a Sigma 24 by 70 millimeter lens for the very first time. I've never used this camera out in a park before. This is its first official field test, I guess you could say. And we are taking it through Epcot and we are gonna be putting it through a bunch of different scenarios to film a bunch of different things to see how much I really like this camera and how worth it this upgrade was for the channel. But with that being said, guys, let's head on inside the park, have some fun. We do have a boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy, so you guys can look forward to that a little bit later. But I'm, I'm excited to have fun today. Now, another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that, yes, this is the first time I've ever taken this camera out, so there are still a lot of things that I need to learn about this camera. There's a lot of settings that I need to figure out, so if things look overexposed, I do apologize for that. I did the best that I could in the hotel room that I was staying in, and also, I don't have the shotgun mic in yet that I ordered for the camera, so we are working with these brand new DJI microphones that I ordered to use in certain scenarios as well. So, this whole video is gonna be a learning experience and this whole weekend is going to be a learning experience, so I'm excited. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any to test the microphone quality with the wind. You can see I have my little sock on here. We'll see when I edit this video whether or not this thing actually works because it's a great test for cruises because I might be using this on my next cruise. We met up with Coda here in the Connections Cafe. Um, Coda's not wearing a microphone, so Coda, go ahead and start saying something at a normal voice. Start saying something at a normal voice. Okay, I just need to know if it's also picking you up or if it's not picking me up. <laughs> so right off the bat, I can already tell that my biggest struggle with this camera is going to be exposure because right now we have the outside world over there. You can't see a gosh darn thing of what's happening over there unless I adjust the, the focus so you can see I adjusted the focus and then I come back inside over here and it just messes with things it makes it all wonky so yeah that's gonna be my biggest struggle for sure outside of the connections eatery over here on the opposite side we do have a food and beverage kiosk that is behind construction walls right now you can see that there is a little bit of work going on over there oh that's something new <laughs> if I if I put my finger up it blows out that's definitely new but anyways yeah you can see that there's definitely some work going on over here with this food and beverage cart under some light refurbishment I'm sure it's gonna reopen very very soon I don't think that they're getting rid of it because it's very popular let's head on inside creations and see what's new. Ooh, check out these brand new Starbucks mugs or what are these tumblers? Tumblers. tumblers. I like the all black one but I think these red and purple ones up here are the ones that are brand spanking new. Take a look at this. Holy cow those are awesome. They even got little keychains. Hold on let me see if I can focus on it. There it is. Look at that. That is so cool. Now I know this may not be anything super new but this is new since the last time I was here. Take a look at this 100th anniversary display. We can see some of the different shirts and ears. We have some lounge flies over here as well. Holy cow, take a look at this polo. 100th anniversary, it's also Nike. That's very interesting. I know it's kind of difficult to tell. Look, there you are, 40% off Epcot 40th celebration items. They are trying to get rid of the 40th anniversary stuff. Take a look at these lounge flies. They're actually really nice. I know Coda was interested in them. So she might actually pick one up now that they're 40% off. Ooh, check out these brand new ears. I like the colors, the bright blue and the purple. And take a look at the designs on the side over here, different attractions at Magic Kingdom. That's really cute with Tinkerbell in the center. I like these. The 50th anniversary has concluded here at Walt Disney World, but as you guys can see, they are still trying to get rid of some of the merchandise. Unfortunately, however, 
at no discount, <laughs> a full $88 for these 50th anniversary lounge flies. That is wild. If they really want to get rid of it, start marking it down. I promise you, people will buy them. Over here, we have some flower and garden merchandise, specifically these orange bird lounge flies. I remember on the very first day of the Flower and Garden Festival, there were videos circulating of people just grabbing these left and right. These shelves were getting cleared by eBay resellers. So I'm very happy to see that they still have plenty of lounge flies available. So something I want to point out to you guys, take a look at the color scheme of this Disney Vacation Club kiosk. Now, take a look at the scheme of the kiosk next to it. <laughs> this kiosk is still under refurbishment. That's what the kiosk used to look like, and that is what it looks like now. They are getting rid of the bright blue and purple, and they are replacing it with a darker blue and black and grays. Let me know what you guys think about this change down in the comment section below as far as the overall aesthetic change. Despite the 50th anniversary being concluded here at Walt Disney World, we already know that they are still keeping the 50th anniversary statues around for a little while longer. I just wonder if they're going to get rid of the 50th medallions that are under them. Either way, it'll be very interesting to see exactly how long they stick around. So we've made our way out here into World Showcase and I want to bring to your attention the Harmonious Barges. Since the last time we were here, we got the announcement that they are being demolished. They're being removed, taken out back, and being deconstructed. So yeah, rest in peace, Taco Shells and Stargate. Rest in peace. Now let me know down in the comment section below, what side of World Showcase do you guys start on? Are you guys Team Mexico or are you Team Canada? Me personally, I'm Team Canada, but I'm here with a group of people. I don't exactly have a say in things. <laughs> have probably noticed that I'm not showing my face too too much in the vlog because I don't have my little tripod yet I ordered it it should be coming in today but uh, yeah the camera is relatively heavy let me know what you guys think so far down in the comment section below of what you guys see in the video as far as the quality is concerned because we are shooting in 4k right now for practically the first time ever and I want to know what you guys think. And I think the biggest struggle that I'm going to have is the exposure. I think I already mentioned that earlier. But yeah, I'm just very curious to see how this all turns out. Now I'm going to have Koda take a video right now of what I look like holding the camera from the side. As you can probably see, I'm a little bit nervous to hold the camera like this. You know, I don't have the strap or anything around my neck. So it's literally just my straight arm strength holding up this lens, which is really heavy. All right, Koda, so you haven't had any real experience with this brand new camera yet. I want to know as an outsider looking in, what do you think? <laughs> you can't see yourself I know it's pretty massive but I like the eye tracker that it has you can't see it but there's a square over your eye to keep you in focus I really like that and I like that the backgrounds blurred just a little bit it's really cool so as I mentioned earlier this is all part of the learning experience and one thing that I learned while editing this video is that the DJI microphone does not do a good job at picking up other people that are around you and other sounds. It does a very good job at picking up you. You can probably hear my breathing a little bit in that clip, but it was rather difficult to hear Coda. So that's one thing that I learned. Again, this is all a learning experience for me. So I hope you guys bear with me with this. You know, I saw a TikTok not too long ago about the name of this place. And um, if you know, you know. <laughs> I can never read this name the same way again. And Coda knows exactly what I'm talking about as far as that TikTok is concerned. <laughs> I won't stop saying it. <laughs> it's hilarious, okay? <laughs>
Now, you guys know how much of a Kingdom Hearts nerd I am and how much I love the series and the franchise. If they had this shirt in my size, I would 100% buy it, but it only goes up to an XL. <laughs> I tell you guys what, it is a scorcher out here today and we're not even in the thick of the summer season yet. And out here in Epcot, shade is a limited quantity. <laughs> Okay, this is actually kind of funny. We came into another gift shop and they turned these back scratchers that they sell into pins. You can get a set. That is so funny. Time to put this camera to the test in some low lights. We're gonna go ahead and ride Coda's favorite attraction here at Epcot, the Seas with Nemo and Friends. This is the part of the video where things start to fall apart with this camera and I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. So like the next several clips are all with different settings on the camera. I started freaking out when I saw how bad the camera was performing in low light with the current settings that I had. So. Again, just bear with me, <laughs> I'm learning. You can get just the smallest little look at the construction of the Moana Journey of Water attraction over here at Epcot. 
said to be opening late this year. So we'll keep an eye on it, but things are progressing. You can see a lot more trees have been planted over here. Ah, and take a look at this. We have a brand new pathway that just opened. We have the journey of water attraction right over here that's still being constructed. And we can head on this way, another entrance to the uh, Spaceship Earth attraction. With that new pathway open, we have a much easier way to cut through Project Tomorrow. We can come on through here and cut through to the other side where we're heading on over to Guardians. All right, Group 120 has just been called. Time to head on into Guardians of the Galaxy. Also, in case you guys are here in the future and you're looking for a time frame on when your virtual queue is possibly gonna get called, we're in Group 120. We just got called and it's about 4.50 in the afternoon. enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors. <laughs> Okay, so filming on Finding Nemo was an absolute disaster, but I messed with a couple of settings, and we're gonna go ahead and try this again, but this time on Guardians of the Galaxy. So let's see how it goes. All right, I promise this is gonna be the last time you see me in editing form in this video, but while the footage from Guardians came out really well, a lot better than I expected, there's still some tuning that I need to do in order to get the low light to be really good because I know that it could be better. But um, while I can show you the footage, I can't give you the audio because I was still connected to my lapel mic when we recorded and my screams and my laughter way too high, way too loud, and it just sounds like hot doo-doo. It sounds like hot doo-doo. Like, here's an example, a little volume warning. I hate this song! <laughs> Why? Coda, you jinxed it! <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna subject you guys to that, so enjoy the footage, but with some other music. This plane is never gonna work. Rock it! Well... Okay, I've walked on to your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. And you're likely doomed. Tracks! Come on! You're gonna need it. Noise. 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 Noise.
world from existence. What have we done? I think we took the rock. Okay, 100% I blame Coda for that. In the queue, she said, I hope we don't get I Rule the World or whatever the song is. Everybody wants to rule the world. She said that she didn't want it. And what happened? We got it. She jinxed it. The worst song. All you. We joke around and say that everybody wants to rule the world is the worst song. But an argument can be made for Conga. I haven't seen, I haven't been on Conga. You haven't been with, with, with Conga? I haven't been with Conga. I haven't been with Conga? Yeah. I can't talk properly. But... Yeah, I would argue that Conga is also top contender for worst song for this ride. Aww. Yeah, there's a lot of people on the internet who hate Conga for this ride. Aww. And while I think it's eh, it's still not my favorite. And with that, our day is just about done. Time to head to the front of the park. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that concludes our day here at Epcot, testing out this brand new camera, the Sony a7C, with a Sigma 24 by 70 millimeter lens. Let me know what you guys thought of everything that you saw in today's video down in the comment section below. And if there are any camera aficionados out there that want to drop some knowledge to me in the comment section, please do so because I could use any help that I got. Filming on Nemo was a struggle, but I think we figured things out with Guardians because because from what I saw through the viewfinder, the video looked really good. So we'll see how that all turns out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Again, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. If you guys want to support the channel any further, we have the join button down below. You can also become a Patreon if you want to support us for free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe later. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.